Hey family, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those that are new, my name is Cassie. It's a pleasure to have you here. Today we're going to be getting into what I eat in a day. Also giving you guys tips and tricks to use on your weight loss journey. And I'm going to be sprinkling in a little bit of updates on my journey and where I'm at currently and where I plan on going going forward because this journey has been like this. Just all over the place, okay? Um, and I just wanted to let you guys know um, what I've been going through and being transparent with you guys because that's what I want to do. I want you guys to see the good, the bad, and the ugly, okay? That's what comes to this journey and I want to be open and honest with you guys, okay? So let's get into breakfast. I'm going to have my smoothie um, and then we're going to get into the first tip. Pardon my interruption. I almost forgot to mention that it's going to be a giveaway. And for those that may or may not know, every time there's a premiere video, there will be a giveaway. Okay? So make sure you stick around to the end. I will give you guys the details then. Okay, family, let's talk about bone health. We don't hear much about it because we're so concerned about the physical that we forget that we also have to be mindful of things going on on the inside as well. Did you know around age 30, your body has a harder time increasing your bone density? Um, I just want you to be mindful of that, especially if you're not in your 30s yet. Um, or if you're in your 30s or a little bit older, just be mindful that your body has a harder time increasing the bone density, okay? That's important. Uh, so your nutrition plays a key role in making sure you're maintaining healthy bones, okay? So my recommendation, I'm not a health professional. I'm just giving you guys tips that I have learned over the years, um, is making sure that you are getting in vitamin D, calcium and protein. Those three things are important to making sure that you have healthy bones, okay? I myself, I am 36 and let me tell you, I can definitely feel a difference um, from when I first started my journey in 2019 till now. A lot of my exercises have to be modified in order for me to get through the workout and I'm okay with that. I understand I'm getting older and I definitely can feel it but I'm making sure that I am uh, including the proper nutrition to try to maintain healthy bones as long as I possibly can, okay? So that's the first tip. All right, uh, breakfast is out the way. You guys saw that I had a smoothie. I'm gonna get into lunch, and then after that, we'll have another tip. Okay, so I have lunch on. I'm waiting for my bacon to get done, and then I'll add that to my salad. And I'll be honest with you guys, you may see this recipe in multiple videos because I'm addicted right now. It's so good. And you may or may not know, once I get hooked on something, I just keep going with it. And it just keeps going until I get just tired of it, okay? Uh, but my journey. Within the last year, and I'll be 100% honest with you guys, I have gained weight. It has fluctuated between 5 pounds, 10 pounds. Then I lost the 10 pounds and then I gained 15 pounds and then I lost five of those 15 pounds and then I gained 20 pounds and it's just been stuck at 20 pounds for a while. And it's, it's been all over the place, okay? Um, and that's normal. And I'm preaching that to you guys again. That's normal to fluctuate in weight on your journey. Do not beat yourself up if you do gain weight. It's normal, okay? Um, and I'll be uh, transparent again. When I saw the scale going up, I did beat myself up. I did get to a place where I was doing unhealthy things to try to get the weight back off. And I'm in a better place mentally where I'm handling it different. Um, number one, I'm not stepping on that scale as much as I did. I probably do it maybe once or twice a month now just to kind of um, monitor where I'm at. Um, it's not a strict thing that I was doing previously where I did it every morning at the same time. I had to know where I was at. I'm not doing that anymore, okay? Um, and I'm happy with 
where I'm at. I'm happy with my weight. I'm happy with my routine. I'm happy with my um, foods that I'm eating. I'm just content right now. Um, and I hope this continues. I hope I can stay on this path mentally. That way I don't spiral and go back into a place where I don't want to go um, in doing things that I know are bad habits when it comes to trying to lose weight and maintaining your weight loss, okay? So I'm going to show you guys, you know, how I look now versus back then around the same time. Uh, and just let me know what you think in the comments. If you see a difference, um, how do I look? Just let me know. Um, I'm showing you guys this just to be transparent. I've been uh, trying to be more transparent with you guys um, when it comes to my journey and tips and tricks that I'm giving you guys to help you on your journey because I want to give you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly. I don't just want to show you guys the good. Um, it's always going to be bad with the good, unfortunately. That's how it goes, right? But I wanted to um, help you guys uh, handle the bad a little bit better. That way you're not just beating yourself up when you get to a place um, that's not where you want to be at that time, right? So I'm going to show you guys how I look uh, before and how I look now. And then we'll get into lunch, okay? Okay, I want to show you guys my before right here and how I look currently. I'm pretty sure I'm going through body recomp. Um, as you guys can see, I was smaller, but me today, I am definitely more toned, especially in my legs, arms, and stomach. I can really tell in my stomach area because I have a lot of loose skin that I can pull on in comparison to last year around the same time. So I just want to show you guys that, you know, the weight gain is not always bad. It's not always noticeable. It's not, you know, um, just a harsh, you know, thing to go through. It, it could be beneficial because you could be building muscle. You never know. But just make sure you're monitoring yourself and uh, keeping track, like taking pictures, uh, your clothes. It's other non-scale ways to figure out how your body is um, handling your new journey of trying to lose the weight, okay? So yeah, I just want to show you guys how I look now. And like I said, I'm 100% okay with where I'm at. I am in a happy place. Um, and I hope this helps you find that happy place in your journey as well um, and let you know that weight gain is not always bad okay so my lunch is completely done i'm gonna put that together and show you guys what i'm having and it's gonna be that salad <laughs> okay here's lunch i'm gonna show you guys kind of up close we got blue cheese crumbles uh mixed nuts strawberries blueberries and i got some onions under there as well as cucumbers and bacon and let me tell you this salad is so good i'm gonna eat all of it and don't judge my bowl okay don't judge my bowl you guys know when you eat like a salad or something that's kind of messy in a smaller bowl it gets all over the place so i just put it in a larger bowl that way it just saves me the headache of stuff falling out of it right so once i'm done with lunch i'm gonna come back with the next tip i want to try these grapes with y'all have y'all ever had these Midnight Beauties. They're black seedless grapes. This is my first time having them, so I want to try it with y'all, okay? But let me know if y'all like them, right? I'm, I'm just let y'all know if I like them, bro. Hold on. They okay. I probably won't get them again, but they okay. Let me know if y'all tried these before. Uh, Midnight Beauty. Black seedless grapes. Or just black seedless grapes in general. Do you guys like them? Leave a comment and let me know. Or if it's another brand I should try. Okay, just let me know. The next tip that I have for you guys is to make sure that you are including superfoods into your diet on a regular basis. Superfoods may promote weight loss increase energy, and promote heart health. The three that I typically stick with on a regular basis is kale, berries, and bell peppers. 
Those three are high in nutrients like potassium, vitamin C, K, and fiber. As you guys um, see in previous videos, I have kale throughout the day and I also have berries in my smoothies. So I make sure that I have them on a regular basis um, throughout the week. So I really suggest that you guys incorporate superfoods into your diet, okay? So my workday is almost complete. And then I'll be starting dinner and I will be showing you guys the final product of what I'm making for dinner. And then we'll get into the final tip of the day. Okay, family, here is the final meal of the day. It is chicken wings, rice, and peas. I kept it simple and straight to the point. And once I'm done eating dinner, I will come back and give you guys the final tip as well as go over what the premier giveaway is. Stay tuned. I want to warn you guys in advance, you may hear the kids in the background, they're home from school, and I really wanted to make sure I uh, finish this video for you guys so I can get it out as soon as I possibly can, okay? So just bear with me if you hear them screaming in the background and I have to talk louder or lower, just bear with me, okay? <laughs> So my final tip is actually four mistakes that I made on my weight loss journey. And I really believe that this information is vital for you to know. That way you can try to avoid these four things. Okay. So the first mistake I made is I let one failure ruin my progress. Mistake number two is I blame carbs for my weight gain versus coming to the realization I was overeating. Mistake number three. I was trying to be perfect versus trying to be consistent when it came to my workouts. And the final one, number four, is I was trying to rush the process versus trusting the process. And these mistakes that I made definitely did a lot of damage to me mentally and physically. So I hope this information um, is vital to you in your journey and hopefully it'll be um, something that you can avoid. I know it's easier said than done, but um, just try to be more mindful of things that you're doing on your weight loss journey, okay? So that's it. This is what I eat in a day, as well as tips and tricks that I use to lose the weight. And now we can get into this giveaway. I am giving away five copies of my Jumpstart Guide for free to the first five people that say this word in the comments, okay? Once again, I'm giving away five copies and they're free to the first five people that say this word in the comments. So please make sure you get your um, entry in right away. I don't want you to miss out on this. Okay. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you have an amazing day or an amazing evening, depending on when you're watching this and I'll see you next time.